I want to learn how to cook some crawfish, so I came and found a friend of mine, Alan McLean, who's cooked. You've cooked a couple of pots Quite a over few. your over your days. Just a few, a few pounds of crawfish, uh, but I wanted him to kind of give me the a really basic idea of what what I need to cook a good pot of crawfish. So, Alan, what do we what, what do we start with? We're just going to keep it very simple today. Very simple. Salt, okay. red pepper. Salt and red pepper. Done. That's, that's, that's it. That's way too boring. Okay, that's the end of the segment. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got water boiling already. Pour some salt. We're going to pour some salt, put a little red pepper, cook some vegetables, and then we'll see if we can't find some crawfish to cook up. I hope we can find some. All right, let's get after it. How much salt? Two pounds. Red pepper is more to your liking. I don't put a lot of red pepper for the vegetables, just so people can enjoy the, the vegetables. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our vegetables. We'll keep it simple. We'll add corn and potatoes. I like to cook my vegetables by themselves. For some people, they don't really care for the crawfish or they're allergic, so they can have the vegetables and enjoy in the uh, festivities. How much lemon? It all depends on your flavoring. In this case, I think Carl's from the north, so he likes it a little more lemony. Vegetables have been going for about 10 minutes. We're gonna add some sausage, about 10 minutes left. Total time for our vegetables was around 15 or 20 minutes. Every pot is gonna be different. Everybody's burner is gonna be different. You just want them to where you know they're cooked a potato, simple trait, just stick a knife through it. If the knife can go in simple, they're done. Pull them out. While the vegetables are going, we went to get some clean crawfish from Alan's shop next door. These came from the field this morning and were cleaned as they went through the sorter. At home, an ice chest and a quick rinse with some water should do the trick. If you don't know if they've been washed or not, stick them in an ice chest, fill it with water and pull the plug. Just keep doing that until the water comes out clear. Soft to the touch. They're done. We pulled the vegetables. Pulled the vegetables. We're gonna put the rest of the lemons in. We're gonna add a little more pepper. The crawfish are more in the pot, so you're gonna add a little more to make sure they all soak up the flavors. We'll make sure the water's back to a boil, and we'll drop the crawfish in. We'll time them 15 minutes, and then you'll pull them out. Rhyme or reason, how much? How much red pepper is it just to, to your liking? Some people want them extra spicy. Some people want them just a little, just to taste. Everybody has their own ways of seasoning, and there's thousands and thousands of ways, but this is just a, a very simple way of boiling a good batch of crawfish. Everybody has their own times. Simple, put the crawfish in 15 minutes. If they're starting to float, they're done. Tastes good to me. Got my approval. Of course, it should be noted once again, there are an infinite number of ways to boil a pot. But Carl tells us that this was a great starter recipe. I guess we'll have to take his word for it or try it ourselves since he didn't again mm -hmm. bring us any. Nope, I got no crawfish. Uh, well, that might be a good idea because it was Probably be cold. Yeah. That was last yeah, week. Kind of, yeah, it was, yeah, it was last week. That's true. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be good right now. But he did write up a quick recipe and step-by-step -step guide to follow along that you can find on our website at twilighttv.org.